Now, the community aspect of this is probably one of the most exciting things, um, having been a hunter my whole life and then you know, working into this uh, it, to be able to speak with people that are just absolutely the most genuine folks you've ever, you'll ever meet. Oh, so, absolutely. Some of the best people I've ever met have uh, been in this industry. It's just amazing people. But as far as like getting in on the hunting side, I, I almost think it'd, it'd be because there is a learning curve with air guns um, that is, it's a graduation. That's the, you know, I've talked to Jim Chapman, Eric Henderson, guys like that. And, and there, it feels like there's this, this graduation into hunting with an air rifle. And I feel like it might be worth the time investing into shooting at the competition level to just to get those fundamentals down. Do you, do you agree on yeah. that? Oh, completely agree. Because, you know, if, if a guy's coming from the farm world where they grew up maybe hunting, you know, always doing the deer hunt stuff, uh, it's, that's a little bit more straightforward, meaning, especially from a distance standpoint, right? That's one of the big things with air guns. Uh, so, you know, if you're out hunting, you have to know your distances, you have to have your dope sheet, your holds, uh, or your dialing, um, because that, and I think that's part of the appeal of air guns is there's a little bit more of a challenge to it, right? You, you have to know if, like, if I'm hunting rabbit, I have to gauge how oh, that's 70 yards and what's my hold for that versus if it's 40 yards. And I, me personally, that's part of the joy of it because it's not as straightforward, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, and that's where target shooting and getting out and pulling the trigger um, is really going to hone those instincts because you see some of these guys, you know, a lot of our pro shooters that a lot of the guys know on YouTube and are seeing them hunt all the time. And they just, they just have it down. They'll, you know, they'll see a bird at 120 yards and they don't even have to look, they just know it. And that skill is amazing. But that's all from spending time behind the trigger and going out on a range. The great thing about air guns, you don't have to go to the firearm range. You, you just get a little piece of land. You can have some fun. Right. So for yourself, what was a little bit one of the biggest challenges in becoming really proficient with an, with an air rifle um, that you had to really work at? Uh, that was, you'd call it a, you know, let's call it a learning curve um, that guys like me coming into it are going to, you know, you could share that piece of information with. That's, that's a really cool question. Um, I think for me, it was learning how to use a scope. Uh, that's something growing up with just shooting normal rifles, you kind of get your zero and you're good. But like what I was just talking about, that idea of learning how to, whether you want to dial or hold and learning to read wind and stuff like that, um, that was the thing that only comes with the reps, I found. so that, um, And that was part of the fun part of doing that. But I find that's the um the thing that time has to be spent on it. and that's something that even competition you know you see guys doing out the 100 yard bench rest and stuff they don't necessarily need to have to read the wind and stuff because you have your cider targets and you can figure it out but when you're in a hunting situation you have to really know those conditions and, and know how your pellet or slugs are going to react 